What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for January 17th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where I go over all the Pokemon news for the day. From official news to the leaks to the rumors, spamming across all medias of Pokemon from the game to the movie to the anime. If you want to keep up to date with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well. I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on the topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news now the first news story is on detective pikachu and all of its merch lines that got introduced today now this is coming from pokemon.com it says a sneak peek at pokemon detective pikachu products check out new pokemon trading card game collections pokemon center products and toys based on the upcoming live action move as excitement continues to build towards the may 10th 2019 the theatrical release of the Pokemon Detective Pikachu, fans can check out some of the products that will be coming out as tie-ins to the eagerly anticipated live action movie. Be sure to check out the teaser trailer. I'm also going to have that linked in the description below. If you haven't already, here's just some of the stuff that you can look forward to. Pokemon Trading Card Game. The Pokemon Trading Card Game will feature a special selection of 26 new cards inspired by Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Collectors and competitor players are like will want to grab their hands on all of these cars to inject a little rhyme city flavor into their decks look for cards featuring pokemon such as bulbasaur squirtle jigglypuff and detective pikachu all displayed as cgi creations the first wave of the pokemon trading card game detective pikachu products will be available beginning on april 5th 2019 be on the lookout for pokemon trading card game detective pikachu special case files one promotional card featuring Detective Pikachu on the case. One metallic coin inspired by Detective Pikachu. Two Pokemon trading card Detective Pikachu booster packs. One Pokemon trading card game Sun and Moon series booster pack. A Detective Pikachu four pocket binder. One code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. Pokemon trading card game Detective Pikachu Charizard GX case file. One foil promotional card featuring Charizard GX. One foil over side card featuring Charizard GX, four Pokemon trading card game Detective Pikachu booster packs, two Pokemon trading card game Sun and Moon series booster packs, one code for the Pokemon trading card game online, Pokemon trading card game Detective Pikachu Greninja GX case file, one foil promotional card featuring Greninja GX, one foil oversized card featuring Greninja GX, one pin featuring Greninja, five Pokemon trading card game Detective Pikachu booster packs, two Pokemon trading card game Sun and Moon series booster packs one code for the pokemon trading card game online and then the last but not least the pokemon trading card game detective pikachu collector's chest which comes with seven pokemon trading card game detective pikachu booster pack two pokemon trading card game sun and moon series booster packs a cool collector's pin inspired by detective pikachu a pokemon notepad and sticker sheet pokemon center prior to the film's release fans can get into a rhyme city groove with a selection of new apparel and and items from the PokemonCenter.com. That cup of joe you're sipping on will taste even better with a hi-hat cafe mug, and you will look extra stylish wearing some neon-inspired hi-hat cafe apparel. If you rather celebrate Rhyme City itself, a line of apparel commemorating the Busting Burr 10th Anniversary Parade will make you look like a proud resident. If you're more of a playful mood, you can pretend to be a world-class detective by donning a deer stalker hat that sports Detective Pikachu icon ears. Imagine how impressive the other moviegoers will be when you walk into the theater on opening day dressed as a star of the film. Just make sure to take off the hat before the movie starts. Those ears will stand out. Of course, these are just some of the great Pokemon Detective Pikachu items that you can find at the Pokemon Center. So keep looking forward to what other goodies are in store. I think this is hilarious. 
a hundred percent who's walking to the movie theaters with these ears on their hat i probably would and it's, it's, it's the pokemon company only the pokemon company and this is the last section it says toys plenty of toys based on the film are coming to keep fans entertained wicked cool toys will be releasing a series of action figures plushies including a talking detective pikachu and role-playing items that let you relive your favorite moments from the movie or create your own adventure you can also build your own adventure with the meltels mega construction building sets the upcoming line will feature characters and settings from the film including a massive buildable detective pikachu complete with a deer stalker hat and magnifying glass this large scale figure also features mechanical movement adding extra life to the toy stay tuned because as we get closer to the film's release date you can be sure that all sorts of new pokemon training card game collection toys apparel and more will be revealed check back as soon to see more stuff now i personally think this is cool one i'm in love with detective pikachu and everything that they are doing for the movie i think integrating the detective pikachu art style into the pokemon training card game makes perfect sense we've seen this back in the day during the original pokemon movies when they over 20 years ago they had that ancient mew and pretty much ever since they had i believe with every movie they had some kind of a movie tie-in card with it this is pretty cool that they're going all out with this art style and putting it on the cards itself and having that a whole line basically i believe it's like what 20 how many cards they said it is 26 cards exclusive to this line i think that's pretty cool the toys and the hats and apparel is something that i'm never gonna really get into i'll probably pick it up if i ever see it at you know the nintendo new york store in a bin somewhere or in, you know on sale for cheap but i don't think i'm gonna hunt out any of the apparel line to wear i am a grown ass man with a daughter so i'm gonna be skipping over those but let me know your thoughts on everything that they are gushing out for the detective pikachu movie in the comment section below and let me know if you are going to be hunting down any of these collectibles i know the trading card game stuff is going to be hard for me to not jump on especially knowing that the art from the movies are going to be on the cards but we're gonna have to see when those when i actually see it in stores and see if i could pull the trigger on those now this is also for detective pikachu but i'm gonna label this as a rumor because again this guy's not verified this guy is i don't know how he's actually connected to the pokemon detective pikachu movie or even the trailer for that matter this guy named van i'm a film editor on twitter tweeted this out earlier today basically saying on january 28th trailer 2 for the detective pikachu movie will be aired on youtube i guess but it's kind of weird because again we haven't gotten official announcement about the trailer being released on that day we haven't seen a, a big name publications like ign gamestop kataku talk about this so i'm unsure that this is real even go nintendo.com did cover this story but did label it as a rumor so as of right now i i do want to cover it as a rumor as well so we may be seeing the second trailer for detective pikachu on january 28th you might want to leave your eyes open for that just in case we the trailer does pop up that'd be pretty cool to see i can't wait to see another trailer for this fucking movie now the next news story is from businessinsider.com where they sat down and had an interview with the ceo of niantic and basically talked about pokemon go it says the ceo behind pokemon go says that the company is cash flow positive as it becomes worth almost four billion dollars i'm not gonna read the whole interview it's very long and lengthy to you know make a long story short he's basically talking about the road of pokemon go and how it became this cash flow positive lucrative game where how they basically start off you know with a small simple task of taking Pokemon and putting it into this AR experience and transforming it into what it is now where they're making millions daily and they're doing it because of how much work and time that they put into the game, how much work and time did they sit and listen to the community, took the community's feedback, added more events, more things to do in game like you would do with any video game release. Especially with a property as big as Pokemon, you have tons of fans that are going to love anything that's with the Pokemon name. So 
so something like an AR game kind of works. It just Pokemon fits with that game. And that's what this interview kind of just sums up to be of just like a telling a guy that knows Pokemon, like the CEO of Niantic, trying to explain it to someone that kind of doesn't, but wants to see the business side and basically wants to have a teaching interview where entrepreneurs or people that are creating their own games can read this and get a perspective on how to make a successful game. But the biggest news that I see everyone running with that's, you know, basically pulling from this article is basically when he said that Nintendo and the Pokemon company basically own the trademark and they're very pleased with Pokemon Go and Pokemon Let's Go and, and looking for more synergies between the game and the core franchise. So that's good to hear and at the same time gets me kind of scratching my head. I do like the idea of Pokemon Go working with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. How I love it. I love that idea of that implementation that they did where you can bring Pokemon you catch in Pokemon Go and bring it over. I thought that was pretty cool. Didn't like that you couldn't bring them back. I, I was just like, why? If it could work one way, why we can't, you know, bring them back? Let's 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 be able to bring them back. It's not like we're bringing back a Pokemon that's not available in Pokemon Go, but I kind of understand why they did that. You know, Pokemon Go is an, you know, activity game where you got to get up off your ass and actually do something rather than in Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. Let's go Eevee. You can sit at home. You can, you know, sit in the couch and not really participate and still catch all the mons that are basically in the game. So I kind of understand why they did that. What I'm not too sure about is the way they're highlighting that they want to create more synergy with Go and the future titles, which kind of makes more sense. I do think in the future titles like Generation 8 and moving forward, even if we get a Let's Go Johto, we are going to see more integration with Pokemon Go in those future games. It just, it's just some appeal we all have to swallow. I don't mind. I love Pokemon Go. I play it every weekend. So it, it's nothing that I'm like too scared of. So I'm not worried at all about this. I've seen other news sites. Again, I'm basically talking about this because I've seen other news sites pointing at this saying, oh my God, it's a red flag because of the fact that the CEO of Niantic stated this and basically is relaying a message that the Pokemon company and Nintendo stated to him that they want to create more synergy. You know, to me, it just sounds like press talk. Of course, the CEO of Niantic will say that Nintendo is positive with the greatness of what is Pokemon Go. Of course, it's, you know, bringing $4 million, a $4 million game right now. Of course, the Pokemon company is positive as well because the game is not making them look bad. It's making them look great, actually. So it's keeping Pokemon on the mind of players, people who play passively, people who play Pokemon Go all the time. Keeping them in the news, especially with the great things that they've been doing with Pokemon Go as far as adding new features and events constantly. So I do do see it as a secondary game to the core Pokemon game series where you can rely on Go as a, you know, Pokemon semi experience throughout the year while we wait for the core Pokemon games RPG from the Pokemon company. So don't get too scared when you see news articles of people saying, oh, you know, they want to integrate it more. Not really. It's just basically PR talk of someone saying, yeah, we're doing great. And obviously they want to work with us more because we're doing great. Now that is going to be it for Pokemon News Daily for January 17th, 2019. Please let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on all the topics that we went over today from the merchandise drop from for Detective Pikachu everything from the trading card games to the plushies to that weird hat they've been promoting as well as let me know your thoughts on Pokemon Go being worth around four billion dollars that is incredible shout out to Niantic for doing such a great move and also let me know your thoughts of that quote that everyone is kind of like misleading with saying that Nintendo and the Pokemon company want more synergy between Go and the Pokemon games in the future, which I do think, yeah, they do, but I don't think it's as big as the CEO of Niantic was leading on. Let me know your thoughts of it in the comment section below. Peace. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow on another episode of Pokemon News Daily. I love you guys. Peace. See you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Yama Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.